Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. This is a mind map which is going to explain about the number system and the sets that the number system contains of. The number system contains of two types of sets of numbers that is rational numbers and irrational numbers. The basic definition of rational numbers is that every number which is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is going to be called as a rational number. In that case, every natural number is going to be a rational number. The reason being, every natural number, for example, 5, can be written as 5 by 1, which is in the form of p by q. So, 5 by 1 is a rational number. In that way, all the natural numbers are rational numbers. Similarly, all whole numbers are rational numbers. All integers are also going to be rational numbers. And all the fractions where the denominator is not equal to 0 is going to be a rational number. Coming to decimals, decimals are classified into three categories. Terminating decimals, non-terminating decimals. And non-terminating decimals are again classified into non-terminating recurring decimals and non-terminating non-recurring decimals. Out of these three categories, terminating decimals and non-terminating recurring decimals belong to rational numbers. The reason being, every terminating decimal can be expressed in the form of a fraction where both the numerator and denominator are integers and the denominator is never equal to zero. So all terminating decimals are rational numbers. Similarly, all the non-terminating recurring decimals can be expressed in the form of a fraction. Therefore, all non-terminating recurring decimals also belong to the set of rational numbers. Coming to non-terminating non-recurring decimals, they cannot be expressed in the form of a fraction. So, they belong to the set of irrational numbers. So, all non-terminating non-recurring decimals. That means the decimal doesn't have any end or the number of decimal places is going to continue invariably and there is no repetition in the number of the, in the decimal numbers. Such a decimal is going to be irrational number. The other irrational numbers are thirds or radicals. If I choose a rational number a, then nth root of a is going to be called as a radical of order n if nth root of a is going to be a irrational number. Example, 2 is a rational number as we all know. 2 belongs to the set of rational numbers because 2 can be written as 2 by 1. But root 2 is an irrational number. In the earlier videos, we have proved that root 2 is an irrational number. So, all the square roots of non-perfect squares are going to be irrational numbers. Similarly, all the cube roots of non-perfect cubes are going to be irrational numbers. So, this is the mind map related to number system. Thank you.